How Manchester United should line up versus Fulham in opening Premier League fixture. Man United take on Fulham in the opening Premier League game and here's how our writers think they should start. Let's follow how players line up look like. Thanks. Eric Ten Hag confirms new £60 million signings, Matthijs De Ligt and Nusser Mazraoui will be available to make their Man United debuts in their opening Premier League clash versus Fulham. Eric Ten Hag is ready to throw Manchester United's newest signings in at the deep end, with both Mathis De Ligt and Nusser Mazraoui in line to make their debuts on Friday against Fulham. Eric Ten Hag is ready to throw Manchester United's newest signings in at the deep end, with both Mathis De Ligt and Nusser Mazraoui in line to make their debuts on Friday against Fulham. Earlier this week, United confirmed the $60 million double signing of Bayern Munich duo De Ligt and Mazraoui. While they have only had a handful of training sessions with their new teammates, Ten Hag has no concerns about using them in the Premier League's opener at Old Trafford. Issues are there, Ten Hag explained. But it's not about the players who are not available. Same as last season, it's about the players who are available. We have a good group. We can make a strong selection and we can put out a strong team and we will do. They will be in the squad and Harry Maguire will be in the squad as well. Luke Shaw will play no part against Fulham due to injury, but Ten Hag allayed fears of another lengthy layoff by revealing the England left back is out for the short term, and it won't take long. United take on Fulham at Old Trafford in the curtain-raising fixture of the 2024-25 season, and while Ten Hag admits this summer has been far from ideal preparation with new signings arriving and many players involved in Euro 2024 and Copa America, he has called on his players not to hide from the challenge ahead. It's not the pre-season where in five, six weeks work on a team, you are done. It's very complicated, he explained. We had the USA Tour squad, and then we added the players at Euros and Copa America, and now new signings, and we have to make a team from it. That team is not ready, but the league starts, and more managers will have this problem. Still, we have some room, have some principles, and we have to make a start. We can't hide, we have to deal with it. Eric Ten Hag has confirmed that Manchester United's new signings, Matthijs De Ligt and Nusser Mazraoui, will be available to make their debuts in the club's opening Premier League match against Fulham. The pair, who were signed in a combined 60 million deal, have been eagerly anticipated by fans and are expected to make an immediate impact. De Ligt, the highly regarded Dutch defender, and Mazraoui, the versatile Moroccan fullback, have joined United to strengthen their defensive options for the upcoming season. Ten Hag expressed his confidence in their readiness to contribute right away, highlighting their impressive pre-season performances and integration into the squad. 
As United prepares for the clash against Fulham, Ten Hag's announcement provides a boost to the team and sets high expectations for the new arrivals. Fans will be keen to see how De Ligt and Mazraoui perform in their first competitive match, and their debut is sure to be a focal point of the season opener. Eric Ten Hag is poised to throw Manchester United's newest signings into the spotlight, with both Matthijs De Ligt and Nusser Mazraoui set to make their debuts on Friday against Fulham. The $60 million duo has been integrated into the squad and is expected to play pivotal roles in the opening Premier League match of the season. De Ligt, the Dutch central defender, and Mazraoui, the Moroccan right-back, have impressed during pre-season and training, earning their place in the starting lineup for this crucial fixture. Ten Hag's decision to field them in such a high-profile game underscores his confidence in their abilities and their preparedness to adapt to the demands of top-flight football. As the season kicks off, fans and pundits alike will be watching closely to see how the new signings perform under the pressure of their first competitive match. The inclusion of De Ligt and Mazraoui is expected to bring a fresh dynamic to United's defense, and their performances could set the tone for the rest of the campaign. Despite only having participated in a few training sessions with their new teammates, Eric Ten Hag has expressed complete confidence in Matthijs De Ligt and Nusser Mazraoui. The Manchester United manager is undeterred by their limited time with the squad and plans to include them in the Premier League opener against Fulham at Old Trafford. Ten Hag believes that both players are fit and ready to make an impact from the start. Their integration into the team has been smooth and the manager trusts their ability to quickly adapt to the demands of Premier League football. This bold decision reflects Ten Hag's trust in their talent and his strategic approach to the season. And, I'll show you these notes one day, how Antony is planning a comeback at Manchester United. Antony discusses his tumultuous 2023-24 season, issues off the pitch, his relationship with Eric Ten Hag, and how uneasy he was at full back. Three goals and two assists in a season for a £100 million Manchester United forward. Antony is aware of the statistics. He has started to jot down objectives on paper, goal participations, assists, where he can improve, how many shots he should register, dribble, and pass completions. If Antony does not have the hard copy at hand, he will ask his wife, Rosaline Silva, to sift through the files and send him pictures. He looks at them every day. I definitely need more goal participations and to score more goals, he says in the lobby of United's Beverly Hills Hotel. It's something I demand from myself. Rest assured, you'll hear the name Antony in relation to goals and assists. The only time Antony's name was heard last season was at Newport County, the scene of one of his goals. Only the natives provided the orchestra. The lyrics are unrepeatable. There are ongoing investigations in England and Brazil into allegations of domestic abuse against Antony, which he denies. The 24-year-old took a leave of absence for four weeks last year and voluntarily attended an interview at a police station in September. Antony returned for United's sixth defeat in ten games against Galatasaray in October. There would be more spirals in a fraught season, and Antony was among those at the club overwhelmed by the maelstrom. Eric Ten Hag has managed Antony in all four of his seasons in Europe at United, and Ajax and admitted the off-the-pitch matters had affected the Brazilian on the pitch. I'm someone who demands a lot of myself, Antony stresses. I was obviously not satisfied with my season, but a lot happened over the year in my personal life. Like it or not, everything I went through had an effect on the pitch. As I've said before, that's behind me now, and now it's a new season. I've got a strong mentality, and I'm focused on what I want, I know that this season will be totally different. Everything I went through was very difficult for me and all my family. I've learned from it all. I've grown and matured. I believe I learned a lot from the adversity. I learned from everything I go through and learned that everything is possible when you persist in achieving what you want. That's why I said I put the past behind me, what I went through last season. 
There were good moments as well, winning a trophy in a united shirt is really important. I matured and grew from it all and this will make me stronger going into this new season. As I said, new season, new mindset, I'm a lot more focused and prepared to achieve great things. I feel a lot less burdened and more prepared as well. I'm a lot more focused and as you said, a lot freer to do what I genuinely know how to do. I'm 100% prepared and focused to help United. Infernino, the name of the favela, working class neighborhoods outside of major Brazilian cities Antony grew up in, is tattooed across his neck. The 24-year-old lived in Infernino for 10 years with his mother, father, brother and sister until his parents separated in 2010. Antony continued